He is Dr. Sibinyev Shidlo. I just call him Doc. Doc and I are on the way to meet Steve Randall. His weather balloons travel to the edge of space, so we're hitching a ride to find out exactly why the sky changes from blue to black. We're going to send up a couple of these cameras in the payload, and then we're going to analyse the footage that comes back. As well as filming the colour of the sky, we'll be taking other readings too. This is a thermometer, and this bit measures atmospheric pressure, or in other words, how much air is left above our craft. And this, this is the crucial bit, it's the GPS. If we didn't have this, we wouldn't be able to find it again. And that is going to be our payload. The beauty. I've always wanted to launch a spaceship, but I never thought it would look like this. Brilliant. Follow that balloon. Although we've now lost visual with Spaceship One. Uh, it's just got to 5,200 metres. Here at Mission Control, Steve's in constant contact. It's currently just over 10,000 metres. At 10,000 metres, Spaceship One is over a kilometre higher than Mount Everest. And when it gets to 20,000 metres, higher than any airliner flies, the blueness of what we see from the ground as sky is now just a thin line on the Earth's horizon. Up here, there's almost no atmosphere at all. The helium in the balloon expands as it tries to fill the void of space. Now, the race is on to recover Spaceship One's re-entry module and harvest its data. Pick up the pace a bit, Doc, or are we going to lose it? We're up to 33 miles an hour now. How could Come on, that Harold. You? <laughs> Come on, Harold. So we've got to go to its kind of last known position, roughly, and then try to track it locally. Oh, hang on a minute. Brilliant. Success. OK, let's get it open. We need to have a look at the footage. Good. Doc and Steve now analyse Spaceship One's data at Mission Control's research centre ah. to find out why the sky gets blacker the further you go into space. Straight away, our video shows how the colour blue drains away the higher the balloon gets. But what about the other measurements? What about temperature and atmospheric pressure? Now, if we have a look at the precise colour measurements from those pictures, what we find is that the colour changes a lot as you go higher and higher and higher until you're a lot higher and it doesn't change as fast. Temperature also changes as you go higher, but it kind of changes at a similar sort of rate until you get to the top and it doesn't change that much. Now the air pressure, the thickness of the air, also changes as you go up and it does so in a very similar way to the colour. And that's what it's all about. As the air gets thinner, our blue sky fades to black. So the sky is blue because of the thickness of the atmosphere above us and the light bouncing off all the air molecules and dust particles. Take away that atmosphere and the sky will be black, just like it is in space.